Hello everybody, welcome to the first round matchup of the NAF Rules Cup 32 player knockout tournament. We've got Muppet with the yellow and blue Banana Man themed Orc team up against Court Guy with the red and black Coca-Cola um, <laughs> themed teams. There you go, he's called Court Guy. It works out perfect, doesn't it? In the booth with me is Dimmy G. Hello. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, sports fans. And what an exciting game we've got. I, I can't tell you. We were just having a conversation before the video started, and Jim just said how excited he was for this one. Immensely excited. If, if you can't, you know, derive an extreme amount of excitement from two teams where they've got guard and they've got block and they've got tackle, I mean, that is the pinnacle of Blood Bowl. Um, they've both got orcs, they've both got 12 players. Colt guy's no got trolls. four re-rolls. He, he, no trolls. Wow, yeah, no One trolls. Goblin. One goblin. Goblin and four re-rolls for Colt guy. And uh, thrower on the bench for Muppet with three re-rolls. They've both got an apple. And yeah, ne neither with a troll. Interesting. And uh, Muppet won the toss and chose to kick. What? Yeah, interesting choice. Yeah, yeah. It's not what I would have done. <laughs> But he He's did. obviously not, never played 2020 Blood Bowl before. <laughs> not a fan of banging everyone out instantly. Nah, I, uh, I very rarely kick, and this is not one of the matchups I would do it in. Especially when the other guy's got Mighty Blow. Yep. Oh, speaking of which, there's an instant cast. Hmm. <laughs> wouldn't have happened <laughs> if he'd received the ball. Well, it might have done, but yeah, it wouldn't have happened this quickly. <laughs> <laughs> like he would have still blitzed because he's the mighty blow guy, isn't he? So he would have done the hit. Yeah. But it would have taken him probably two turns to do it because it was the second hit. Look how fast that dude is. And now, yeah, now he's gone for the whole game. Whereas at least if it happened in the second half, you know, maybe you were already one 0 up or whatever. Doesn't I put it by the way? Uh, what what was it? It's a badly hurt, uh, but it is just alignment, so it's hard to. Hard to apple, yeah, I mean, like he hasn't got a skill. He's not a big one, and he's not a blitzer, so it's it's hard to apple. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of punching in this one as well. Yep, the block biggins are all right actually, aren't they in this matchup? Because they can get two deep blitzers that you wouldn't normally get, um, especially for Muppet because he hasn't got a mighty ball player. Whereas um, Cold Guy is definitely going to try and make every single blitz with his mighty ball player. Or certainly should be doing that. Hopefully, yeah. He certainly should be doing that. <laughs> we should be seeing a mighty blow hit on this big one. Yep. Into a follow up hit with the other big one. No. Oh, yes. he's blocked his path. Yeah, that's what, that's what we should have seen. Oh, no, he's, 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 he's got it there. But yeah, he didn't get the follow up hit with the other big one. X cage. He should, he should have. Uh... He should have done. Yeah, he would have got the follow up hit there. Yep, and he might have cast him, right? We'll never and know. if he got the follow up hit, he could have followed and then chained the guard out as well. Yeah. But then it would have left his guard exposed. But yeah, like, he's X caging now, and I don't think this is correct because he can base the ball now. Yes, no, I don't, I don't like, so, it like this. This is like this is an example of an incorrect X cage. Yes. For yes. me, for me. Yes, he could be one further back. There's no need to be right. It's inviting pressure. I, I hate it when people cage like this right at the LOS. It's inviting pressure on you. And okay, it might not work out for them, but you're inviting pressure anywhere. And like, does this guy, guy need to be here? Who's who's coming all the way around? Nobody. He could be out here, right? It, where is, does this guy need to be here? No, he could be over here. And then this guy could be where the ball is, and then the ball could be back a few squares, right? And you just you just don't need to X cage almost all ever. Or you've got. All you've got uh like a, a, a blitzer in between the two guard biggins to like block off with block next turn because he's yeah. gonna he's gonna have to throw one in nine blocks to try and clear this well he's gonna he's gonna be ball's gonna be based yeah. interestingly he's blitzed this guy instead of the other guy yes not followed and based the ball yeah, yeah but then basing like the ball isn't that good is it so it's you know this is another thing people yeah. tend to base the ball too much now he's just got a big wall of guard and he's got you know he's got um three players on one over here and then he's got yeah. four players on two here so it's not quite as good as it you'd have rather had him they actually rather not pushed him so you'd have had five players on two and now he's only got four players on two so uh, yeah interesting super interesting super interesting I wonder if uh, 
Hargreaves won a game today. I should check that. Really. Oh yeah, that's a good thing to check. It would be hilarious if we came double or six, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the only upgrade to Hargreaves is to make him double or six. Pow! This time he's blitzing with a mighty blade. Yeah. Yep. Bosh. Who follows though? Would have, would have broke armor anyway. Mighty blow doesn't do anything. He has won a game, so. W would it be um, an upgrade becoming Sean Bean? Yes, obviously. What kind of question is that? Oh, I like protecting the big one on the right with that. Lineup. Yes, me too. Me too. Now he just gets to roll down the line a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh. And he also wants to fight up here, so. Undefeated, Argo. <laughs> One, two, zero. Very nice. Mm. KO. That's a huge KO. No Apo again. Yeah. These guys really don't like their players. <laughs> that might have been worth an Apo, right? Two that was three. definitely a KO for me. A, a KO. That was, and it's a big one as well. It's a block big one. So it's yeah. very... That might have I mean, been that might have been an apple. The thing is, maybe maybe court guys, you know, thinking this has got a good chance of going overtime. If you're still confident, you'll score. Then yeah. saving it, you know, th for a Kaz because of overtime is. Court guy's shape is a lot better. Um, like the way he's keeping nice long lines. He's got the guards. The only problem is, is all he's got is one blitzer holding the left. So, I think. I think. We should see. Oh, hang on. Coat guy's red. I'm talking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I really like Muppet shape. Yeah, um, I quite like that. Barring, barring the fact that he's only got the tackle bits on the, the left, but he doesn't. He doesn't push it. He's just gonna chill. Oh, he um, might be pushing it. He is. He's not gonna get. He's not gonna get too far through here. Though. Well, he doesn't have to, does he? Unless, you, unless you're gonna turn for panic, Timmy. Is that what you're gonna well, do? <laughs> uh, I mean, this is one of the matchups that you do want to make progress as quickly as possible. Yeah, I don't know about as quickly as possible. You you want to take it. You want to take it whenever you can get it. I don't think it was really there yeah. this turn, but maybe, so maybe you should have been trying to set it up for later. That was the thing you probably should have been doing. Uh, like you look at the amount of hits it's gonna take this turn. It's too many. Yeah. Yeah, he's just getting beaten off, but you know maybe that's what he enjoys. Uh, a lot of people do, Jim. <laughs> this is a little bit of a mistake, wasn't it? That guy could have moved there earlier and then he could have blitzed with block. Would have been with block. A, a tiny block. Yeah. Hey, 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 block. Who was that? Who yeah. was that? Who was then, the... <laughs> if you look at this in comparison, it's just been um, he's only given away like one free hit, it's a 1D and he can't make it 2D unless he blitzes with a big one. So, and he's got a really strong shape, so yeah. definitely think we've seen some pretty nice turns from Muppet. Yep. Balach. That's what I was thinking of. Balach. <laughs> um, yeah, I yeah, don't know what Court Guy's going to do, he's just got to like run around the middle again, hasn't he? Yeah, maybe he did have to go last turn there. Eh? It's just in this particular matchup, getting forward early is nicer than usual. Mm. In my opinion, I, I mean, like, I'm not really famed for my massive amount of all games, but. <laughs> um, well. I played I, before. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, well, Shrub God, I have not, uh, and Steve, I have not made a Dark Elf guide, but one is coming very soon because I will be playing Dark Elves in the World Cup probably. And therefore, in the NAF ladder, um, so to practice and you know tabletop as well. I think you know I think I will be playing some dark elf tabletops soon. The problem is, <laughs> when I say soon, it's like it's hard, tabletop is hard to get into because of like the the, the nine month lead times for the tournaments. It's weird, isn't it? So it's actually hard for somebody who wants to play a tabletop to play tabletop. It's very strange. It depends on where you want to play tabletop. Mm. Like it's like the big events sell out. Yeah, you you find something like cool. Mm. I think I only really want to play in the big events. You know. Oh, here we go. There could be a gaping hole. Rerolls it. 
does not get oh. does not get it and yep it sure looks now like court guys left this a little bit too late Hope we shut down now he's panic facing yep he's gonna get beaten off again mm. and this is the thing with the big ones being movement five like you like before you would punish them and then like now they just shuffle back across <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's the thing isn't it control the center and then you can go either way that's the that's the great thing yeah. and block him with the the bigger and further away from the ball well correct choice yep slam this guy in what a spot for him oh that's a, that's a rough one. and you can finish this with a blitz right into a serve yeah, up, up really on that one. Got to knock that guard over. Yeah, I think he has to. Maybe he should have followed. Honestly, I don't know. I'm oh, not sorry. I thought he had another. I thought he had another. Uh, Hit the mighty blow. Oh, oh wow, he's failed GF the jiffy. Oh. Puts the reroll in. That's a two reroll turn. That's a three D though. He he wants this Good. guy. Yeah, he wants he wants this lineman here. It he wants needs to go another square because he's oh, going to uphill. Up yeah, and he should have blitzed, right? He should have blitzed. So he could have followed and then gone around, right? He could have gone. Well, if he blitzed, he couldn't hit the mighty blow. Well, I know, yeah, but I, I think it was better to blitz with him and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, right, and get back with him. He could have yeah. got back, and then and then he's good at the moment. He's getting served because Cole guy isn't scoring this Probably turn means, anyway. Though, if you if you blitz with him and you skull, then you just like, wasted the blitz. I know, but like he's not going to score, right? Cole guy's not going to score. You've already beaten him this half, so. I just wouldn't want my guy served. <laughs> like you, you, you're taking an automatic injury to maybe hurt the. Okay, we've well powered him. <laughs> um, you're like taking automatic injury to maybe power the mighty blow guy, which I think is crap because I, I would expect my guy to get served there, and I would not want to get my my guy served just to make him um, yeah, more guys served here. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, he's going to potato. Potato! I mean, that's one way of stopping your guy getting surfed. Yep. Um, there's another real gun. Uh, one, witch, one witch elf, three blitzers, seven linemen is, is the team to start with. Yeah. And two, two rerolls, yeah. Right, face the ball. The blitzer is what I like. I like the witch elf one. I used to like four blitzers, but now I always go witch elf. Right, so yeah, now he's he didn't need to free up this guy, did he? He could have just blitzed with a blockless block, but now he gets to uh, because like blitzing with block isn't that good, right? Because you want you want to you want to power. Oh, that's three roll. Oh, that's a game. Yeah, holy moly. Oh, what did he? Oh, oh he was man. due to get around the back as well. Okay, that I mean that makes sense to be fair. But, oh, oh. Alex. gets the push. What turn are we on at eight? Turn eight. Oh. He's gonna score the potato. He's just gonna score the potato. Oh, that's so disheartening for. Uh, yeah, tragic. He played that really well as well. Well, he, he the the thing that he did wrong. Funnily enough, is what cost him, right? Exactly what I said the the, well, the previous not, turn uh, was when well, this guy wasn't there. Should have done a GFI, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't even a GFI. He just didn't move him. He actually had a, no, he no, had a no, square. No, no, no. Not here, Dimmy. Here, look. This is this turn. This guy could have stood there. Didn't need any GFI. Hang on. Th hang this on, is when on. he lost it. This is this when he is lost the... it. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Because he. All right. Hang on. Yeah, look, he's not in that square. He, he, one, two, he could have three. gone five. He could have gone there, Dimmy. I know uh, I was watching the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. That, that's what he did wrong. And he should have been in, in, in one of these two squares to stop him getting around that corner. Or, or, or and he could have blitzed with him as well. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, you still there. do that square even if but, you don't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do Whatever right, you do, even if you don't blitz. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially if you don't blitz. Like especially if you don't blitz, you have to hold this because you could be greedy and blitz and then hope to put him there and then put this guy somewhere else. But you have to hold that square to stop him pushing down the sideline. And uh, I mean, when he didn't still... do that, and it's it's a small mistake. It's a one square mistake, but it's it's what it's what cost him. It's a critical mistake. It was a critical mistake. Yeah. 
Right, um, so there's one turn now for Muppet. Uh, he hasn't got a goblin either. Oh no, neither have got trolls. <laughs> neither have got trolls. Dis yeah. Disregard the <laughs> rat <laughs> I mean, he also had four dice. He also had four dice on the. He also had four dice on the ball, and didn't do you know, and then failed the GFL, you know. But so he had some bad dice as well. But um, that was just one. He he, like I mean, he, he didn't need to do the GFI, He could have followed, and then it would have been uphill blitz into three plus dodge. And, uh, I mean, that's just so much better than tagging from behind because yes. you tag from behind he's still doing the uphill blitz yes. and then if he gets the powers he's not dodging like yes. it didn't make any sense to do that GFI whatsoever true true yeah that was also a mistake but still I think if he hadn't done the other mistake GFI uh, yeah yeah but yeah he should not have done the GFI yeah 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 and uh but yeah if you, we, we, we're we going back to the line oh, one square out yeah lock down that side thing yeah and it, it was some crazy bad dice. He didn't get any powers off four dice, and then he did it. But yeah, he shouldn't have done the GFI yet. But still, even though he shouldn't have done the GFI, he was still unlucky to fade it, wasn't he? So that's the, it's one yeah, of the Yeah, 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 exactly. Four moment. dice, like, you, you expect the power, and then when you don't get the power. I mean, if he follows, it's different as well. So the, 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 I'd say the lino in the square and the GFI unnecessarily was two errors that cost him a score. Yeah. In a, in a half that he was cruising in, he was yeah. absolutely dominating. Like yeah. he was such good form. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? So that's the thing. So like, it's not being overly critical, right? Like, I do think he was in a better position. I think he, I think he put his players in the be better squares for the most part. But he then played just, that whole yeah. half really well. Yeah, yeah just, and then just a couple of mistakes get you. That that's blood ball. <laughs> it is. It's super punished. Oh, well, he starts with an instant dub skull and a reroll used. In overtime format, yeah, you know he's kind of right. It's pretty momentum. It's pretty. You have to. I I think he did the right. I'm not saying it was a bad decision. I'm just saying it was just the fact that he has used the right yeah, in overtime yeah. format makes it even worse. Right? Yeah. You can argue that he could have protected the ball a little bit first, but even then, yeah, I still think he I had still to don't do think it. You're uh, it. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think he had similar. to reroll it just just for the momentum aspect. And this this stat also boils down to uh, him choosing to kick. Yeah, this guy doesn't need to be here, right? He could have been where this blitzer is. There's no. This need. is this is that, that, that's an actual good point as well. So overtime score. format, mm. um, receiving is really freaking good because you can use all of your rerolls to score. Whereas when you're receiving in the second half, like you've got to also keep like if you if you conceded a touchdown and you're one nil down like we are here with Muppet, yeah. Like your re you can't use your rerolls in certain situations because you have to save them for overtime. So like that makes picking offense even better than an offense is probably better in the first place anyway because you get yeah. to bang first in a yeah. bang matchup right. So yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's it's like even better to go on offense in overtime format in a in a situation where being on offense was probably the better thing to do in the first place. Yeah. Fails to dodge. It's always better to bang, is in. A lot of the time, it's in. I think rats maybe like vamps are an exception. And maybe rats. Right. Rats are under well for the one turn, isn't it? That's the biggest thing with them is is, is yeah. the one turn chance. Maximising that one turn chance is really important for them. I'll have to play some vamps at some point. You will, Jimmy. Mm. You'll have to play against them as well. Yeah. Talk yeah. Armada is uh, three zero zero, and he's scored seven touchdowns and not conceded one. He's eighth in the individual rankings for European. Mm. so OP. Has K Fog won all of his games with Woodells? He has. Mm. Woodells OP. But he's 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 also played. Who did England play? Why, Ireland. Why are you making excuses for Wood Elves winning every game, but 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 vampires are all peeding? 
Well, I mean, k is also OP, so there you go. No, it's Wood Elves are OP. <laughs> nah, no, k <K-Fi. laughs> Yeah, Wood Elves got here this is all right yeah it's a big brawl isn't it lots of guys absolutely apple KO. brilliant apple okay yeah now the apple not using it in the first half looks good yeah although i'd argue it was the coke guy apple that was more pressure yeah i think coke guy should have but then he got away with it right he scored anyway and now he's still and then gets the ko back yeah got a lovely amount of punches here yeah, he did, yeah. But he has got a lot of players in. He's only got three players in this half of the pitch. Yeah. All of his players are here, so we're going to see a surge down the right, I expect. A storm surge. Mm. Overcommitted, yeah. Yeah, he saw the bloodlust, didn't he? Yeah. But, you know, you got a removal out of it, so... Worth. I mean, maybe, right? It is early still, so... The problem is now, you know, like he's he's not too far out of position. He can he can just rotate over, but you know we've got a bit of a beachhead here, haven't we? For the uh, the oh, uh, we up at there, yeah. got a few guys down. Woof. Oh, Woof. stunned as well. <laughs> Woof. Oh, that's a killer. That's an absolute killer. Them both being stunned. So now that this lineman is going to step step one for well no this guy is going to go like either want two there or two there and mark out two big ones which is pretty good isn't it oh don't like that do I not like that. Yeah, this is, uh, I Got mean, it. he's obviously uh, anticipating the movement 9 missed the throw. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would definitely want, you know, more people between him and the ball. I would have yeah. probably one of these two blitzes. Yeah, separated them off. Like, yeah. Good way to get a number of advantage. This mm. is just free progression. Yeah, and he's, he's kind of made this four players on two, right, over here. He hasn't even, uh, he hasn't, you know, like, he's actually stayed outnumbered. I would have gone the other way. I would have put a lineman on both of these. So I'd have a two-for-one trade here. And he said he's made a four-for-two trade, and he's actually, you know, allowed a big, massive blob bang, bang. In, his, uh, in his own heart. So that, that's what I think. <clears throat> Full base, could. GG, Jimmy, GG. GG, it could be. He might actually base it. Uh, okay, he does base it. Yeah, slap that guard in there. Oh, he's got to dodge him. Oh, no, you can hit him first. You can hit him into a follow up hit with a lino. You can hit him into a follow up hit with a mighty blow. Uh, yeah, but I like getting that guard in, in between the two big ones on the ball. Yeah. Oh, he didn't save the follow up hit. Oh, and he won in 81s! Yeah. yeah. See, I would have liked just stepping in the mighty blow. And he hadn't too, moved the mighty blow either. That mighty blow should have the guard blitz on the back there. Yeah, if, if, you, if you're going to block with a if you're going to block with a big one, then yes, move this guy first. Yeah. And now he's got the switch. Well, the problem with the switch here is three of his players. Oh my Oof. god, badly hurt. Apple, oh. apple, block big one, so it's a great apple for court guy for overtime. Which that is offensive. Both looming. apples, uh, yeah. I think both apples could have been used earlier, but then both have been rewarded by not using them earlier. Yeah, this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? It's a little bit dodgy, Jim. He could have moved that guard guy. I guess the guard guy is geofying. Yeah, this Tackle is. Yeah. So this is this is actually. A correct example of the X cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, so this is one or two, that. isn't it? I can't tell. It's, uh, it's one. Double GFI? Was it? Oh, no, it was a one, was a reroll. That's a reroll, yeah. Yeah, one GFI. And an absolutely necessary one as well. A super necessary one. As well, was it? It was, yeah, because the mighty blows down there, and he can just dodge the guarder. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. on the ball, yeah. Um, 
No, by misplacing, I guess. Right, so if he if he did what I said and put the mighty blow on the guard guy, then none of this play is possible, even with the one in 81. Mm. But then it's safer to have the bottom right corner exposed because the mighty blow guy is not there. <laughs> Which is. But then he's still got the 3 plus 1D with the guarder, so on a block let's throw right? around. So. Well, yeah, 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 because he could. He, 3 plus 1D, yeah, you could have left it at 3 plus 1D, and that's the thing. So you using a reroll and ha only losing 3% of the time is much better than leaving somebody a 3 plus 1D. Yeah, but that guard guy should have been tagged by the mighty blow guy in the, in the first place in the, in the well, last yes, turn. Well, yes, but I mean, he isn't, though, Before, so yeah. you've got, you know, you can't. For for this player, what I'm saying is right. The guard could have just stood here or here, right? And if he stands, if he stands here, then you actually it's can't one, one D him. Yeah, you actually can't one D him. Then you've well, got yeah, to you do a dodge with the guard and then blitz with the mighty blow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be a double GFI, a dodge and double GFI to one dice the ball. It's worth it, I think. Mm, maybe it's it is. Ten, but maybe ten, you ten, want four, that. Yeah. Maybe you want that to suck off his rerolls, right? Or suck off them rerolls, Jimmy. <laughs> maybe, right? Maybe you want to leave that on. But yeah, I don't. I generally don't like my but my ball, my blockless ball carrier getting one dice. I generally don't Ooh, like that. Push, why do you push the blitz so that way? Hmm. Plus, you might not have gone for it. That, that's the other thing, right? Like, you might have just done this instead. If if you had the guard there, you know, he might not have just I might have just not gone for it. Yeah. Freeze the big end, the big end can just step in in between all of those guys, he gets the punch there. Yeah, it's a beautiful square. We're he just might go back. Blitz the line on the front of the cage. Nah, you can't go back, it's turn fifteen. No like go back to the other side, go back to the left side. Oh going okay. on to the right side. But it looks like he's gonna go on to the right side. Yeah, this is further away from his Yeah, this is the natural way to go. Follows. So we can base Tags. him. Potatoes? This is just a 3 plus 1D. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's got this, he's got the guard, hasn't he? Okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, he can still 1D him on a 3 plus. 1, uh, 2, 3, 4. Double five, GFI, six. you can uh, you can 1D him. Well, he has to do, yeah, double GFI, and then he has to do dodge double GFI, and he can one deal with tackle. Not can, the tackle mats, but... Th this guy can just do it with Mighty Blow. Can just, uh... Ooh, can he get the assist around the front? Three two pluses, so yeah, maybe. Two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight. I mean, he can, he can dodge the guard in first, so he can do three plus, two plus, two plus, and then three plus, two plus, two plus, he can two do him. He's got, he's got he's a got one. Oh, he doesn't re-roll it. Wow. Oh, okay. it's overtime. Yeah, that's that's weird. I think I would have prioritised. Uh, I quite like the free re-rolls. Yeah, so do I. But who knows? Like, it looked like you just didn't think about it all. But of course, well, I've watched the replay. replay yeah, it, live, yeah. you might have thought about it for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, he, he could have just re-rolled it and then used all of his re-rolls just because once you use that re-roll, you're invested, right? Yeah. And then it's and then it's like you just waste three re-rolls. You don't stop the score anyway. And then you go in overtime. And over, like, I like that he's got three re-rolls to one, right? He's got eleven players. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Mines the there. and he's gonna get another LOS to punch, so yeah. he's like he might be looking golden here. Yeah. He is out bashing. Well, based yeah, and based on the play, like I think uh, Muppet edges it in coaching slightly, um, mm. but in this game, obviously not. I don't know. So like, yeah, I don't hate the. On re -roll. Mm, interesting, isn't it? So, I mean, so maybe he wouldn't have gone for the 1D last turn, right? If it, if it left him on, so maybe, maybe it was right to leave that on, I don't know. But, um, and if he had left that on, he would have saved a reroll, wouldn't he? Look at, so that's the thing, so you know. Look at maybe like that, maybe that one reroll could be the difference in overtime that he could have maybe saved. It's interesting, because he couldn't have afforded to fail the GFI, could he? That's for sure. Once he decided to make that GFI, he had to re-roll it. Yeah, yeah. What's his... Yeah. Whereas I think he could maybe have got away with not making it. But I'm not sure. Should have made 
about three dice, should we? But I mean, got the power anyway, but should have made it three dice. Gonna foul with a gobble, because he's got the reserve. Let's do this! <laughs> It's a pretty big Double foul. Key. EV4. Let's go. Gosh. Not, Not dead. Not sent off though. Mm. Kill stays out, so it's only 10 Heads. on defense. Heads. Oh, I was right. <laughs> no, not on offense. Oh, okay. Wow. Game one. Correctly picked offense this time. Yes. Yes, only 10 orcs. From 10 against 11. 10 against 11. It's going to be tough, isn't it? Does, does get to bang first, though. I mean, he's got the ball. That's the main thing, right? Yeah. He's going to be tough. He's going to be tough. But he's, he's, he's got down the ball. a big one. No, he's down a blitzer. Down a blitzer. 29s. Oh, that's with the blitzer. Is he blitzed? He's not blitzing. No, it's hard to blitz isn't it versus this, these corners like formation I like this no. much more okay no <laughs> he's gone up behind I like it much more one one behind where it was and then, and then he moved it forward <laughs> it's funny isn't it is he coming through the hole but yeah this is way better than an X cage right no need to have those two guys back no, he's not whoa, whoa. <laughs> you savage coke guy and then it gets rewarded. Absolutely mm. disgusting reroll. Disgusting removal. <laughs> God, I hate blood bowl sometimes. Well, it, it's because he wanted to get all these people around the back. Maybe it wasn't yeah. like you know, it wasn't just a, it wasn't just a greed reroll for damage, was it? It was getting this pressure around the back. Yeah, but he could have just double sculled. He could have done, but that's a very low chance, isn't it? And th this is a lot of pressure. It needs a lot of pressure. It's a disgusting reroll. I don't think it was a disgusting reroll at all. I, I think I thought it was rowdy, but now after it's uh, now after it's you know the scene, the position that he envisaged, it seems envisaged. pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, he's gonna free the ball here. Oh, yeah, it's. And now his defense is. Uh... I mean, he's still in a lot of trouble here, Muppet. He is. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of pressure coming next time. Yeah. It's just gonna blitz with a big one off the floor. I mean, he might get his ball sacked instantly. Uh, yeah. It's only a 1D that I can see so far, though. That depends if he gets the power now. No, he needs a push. You can use the line in the middle. Yeah, but if he gets a pow. Oh, he I thought oh, he was gonna put that dice. in the square, but he didn't. Two dice, two dice. Mighty blow on Mr. Throw. Yep. GG, thanks for coming. Now that reroll looks fantastic. Now he gets the power, there we go. And the arm break, wow. And now the what a turn. Blitz, yeah. What a turn. Ma facilitated by the, the what looked it like was? a greed reroll last turn, but actually he had this plan in his mind. That's one of the things that you you don't get, do you? When like you're watching it as a spectator, like you think, "Well, that was a rowdy reroll," and then like you know it fails. Like if he dub score, we'd have been like, "Oh, what did he roll that for?" But then yeah. he had that. Or in his mind. I mean, like if he pushes again, like if he yeah. doesn't, if like he needed the pal, or or the, I guess it was I can't remember what player it was. I think he he had, he was blockless, right? Yeah, I think so. Then so maybe it's yeah, it was big and yeah. so seventy five percent knockdown. Yeah, I guess it's... What a payoff. Oh, last reroll gone on a 1D, a blockless 1D. He's just got to try and get the guard in here. Get him back. He's getting back because he's lost the ball instantly. Two players stunned. Big and knocked out. It's just a disaster, an absolute disaster for him. For Uphill the ball, I mean... That's a good decision, right? You've got block, he doesn't... Uh, he's got no other choice, has he? He's getting no. smashed with mighty blow and he's away. Yeah, this is uh, looking very, very bad for me. After oh, winning the toss. A, ow, that was a rowdy block. Of all the blocks <laughs> take, take the blockless one. Uh, he's got a lot of blockless ones. There's another blockless one. Wow. 
Well, there's a there's a mighty blow with block there to free the ball. Like, he please do he that couldn't, block. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it, did he? He's good. He's just done it. He's just done it now. He's done it now, Dimmy, but how does he do it? Oh, you it? mean he had to hit the tackle first? Yeah, how does he do it now? I mean, he could have just put the guard in. Which guard? The one there, the one you just hovered over. That's not his guard. That's that's the other blitzers. That's the other player's guard. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Disregard. Errata, errata. Uh, uh. Ah, this isn't... So he did that block oh. so that he could make this a 2D so that he could clear this guy for the assist. Yeah. Because this guy's strength 4 okay. and he needs the two assists to hit him. He's in the wrong square yeah, now. Yeah, he's he's, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the wrong, I, I was trying to work out what was going wrong there. Oh, he's going around that way. Yeah. I guess that makes some sense. And then we hit him with the block big and free the guard big and when we're in the back row, but I'd say. Yeah, this is a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn from court guy. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't hit with the block one. Gets himself KO'd. Yeah, that that was weird. Yeah, he that was a bit greedy, wasn't it? That was yeah, greedy. yeah. That was. That it made was more greedy. sense to I free him up anyway. Yeah, yeah, him yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah. To get him around the back. Yeah, yeah. If he blocks with a block, not only is it a block with block, then this guy can go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then get him down, involved in the play, or just like in there. Yeah, or I think in he could have gone well. one, two, three, four. He could have gone in here. Or, or if you don't power him, you can go 1-2 and then go in and keep him occupied anyway. So yeah, that was very greedy just to hit this guy who's probably not going to do anything. But then, you know, on the other hand, the next turn this guy could come back 5 and then be a pain in the ass a little bit. So, you know, who yeah. knows? It's one of those things, isn't it? But with one reroll, uh, I, I think I wouldn't... I think I'd have rather hit yeah. the block and uh, move the guard around. Oh man, Muppet's got to feel real bad about this one. Yeah. Out of rerolls now as well, and any yeah. any dice roll could be the last. And he's gonna have to roll three plus dodges. Yeah, I don't know, just probably. Bits. At some point, he's gonna have to roll some dodgy dice. He's got to dodge that nine nine one two. Yeah. See, so there you go. So you know, so although although we called the other one greedy. That would have taken out this lineman if they'd both worked, so it's funny, isn't it? Everything's yeah, like got a pro and a he'd also, he'd also have like another guard liner. <laughs> True, yes, he would have had a guard big and around here. A somewhere. guard big and sorry, yeah. Yeah, he'd have, had a, he'd have had a bad guard big and somewhere. Else, but. Interesting, though, isn't it, that there's all these things that make a difference? Variables, uh... yeah. Yeah, it's, it's never easy just to say, oh, this is. This and like you say, like it, it's like you have incorrect plays which have a higher payoff. Mm. Like, should they work, or like yeah. more risky plays? Yeah, that have a higher payoff. Like, and sometimes you don't do it because you're being safer. But by being safer, you're in a worse position further down the line than if you did something a little bit crazy and get yourself in a really good position. Yes, like like the easiest way, even though it's completely over the top is playing the lottery isn't it like playing the lottery you're getting like one in a hundred million odds to win two million so it's like objectively a bad gamble but on the other hand getting two million it's the only way you're going to get two million pound <laughs> by risking a pound isn't it so you know like that that's the thing isn't it so yeah. if, and if you need the two million pound to win the game then you then you're going to have to play the lottery so uh, maybe i don't better. like not moving the ball like no no, I, I like moving the ball first. He's only got one reroll, but just play like you've got none, right? Oh my god, he's... He's in the wrong square. Yeah. Hang on, three... Oh, that's just a lino, isn't it? Four, five, yeah. six... Yeah, so I guess that square means that he can only get based, he can't get blitz. Yeah, so that's why he's done that. Blitzing, but yeah. Probably yeah. should just been on the side sideline, honestly. Yeah. Well, like I don't. Yeah, I I understand it now. So yeah, it's just because that's a lino. 
So this lineman could have jumped over on a five plus, then four three, <laughs> and then double geified and one dice. Should have done it. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, higher variance, but the, the variance doesn't even need to be in your favour as long as it's giving you a chance to win, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, you're better off betting on a 1 in 50 chance, at least if that gives you a chance to win, whereas not doing it gives you no chance, then that's it. You've got to play to your outs, haven't you? Oh, that, that, was, a, that was a concept, play to your outs. That's... Uh... That's a thing, isn't it? Play to your outs. Have you heard that, Demi? Yeah. Good. I didn't know if it was just more of a poker thing or not. Oh, no, I've definitely heard that. Right, good. I didn't even know that was a poker thing. Um, it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, poker, you've got outs, right? Like, do you know what I mean? But, um, with, like, magic, it's more like magic that you you play for them because there's not a lot of playing in poker is there it's just betting it's not playing <laughs> you don't really play poker do you you bet on poker he's got a four three two two one d here yep he's it's going for it probably as well. better. yeah i mean it's better than it should have been yep yeah, I would have gone. I wasn't joking. I would have gone for the five, four, three, two, two because I didn't think I would have got better. And then he did get better the turn after. <laughs> but <Shit. laughs> and he goes in now. There's going to be a oh, only a one turn chance, right? Because uh, Muppet received. He did. There's only a one turn chance. He received quite heavily in that half. <laughs> he did, yeah. He got banged out. He got severely banged out that half. And uh, but good pressure, good pressure by Cook guy. That 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 reroll looked a bit wild, but actually the the seventy five percent knockdown is what got him that pressure, which ultimately won him the game. So there you go. Or the KO as well. That yes, was... yeah, it sure held it as a KO. Yeah. Yeah, if it was not a KO or an armor break, then it it's. And it's a guard bigger than, <laughs> yeah. like, it, it, like. Let's be real. Like, yeah. there was some. There was more to it than just a reroll. True, true. But like, I think most of us would say it, it wasn't. You know, it was a bit rowdy for reroll. Maybe it wasn't a good reroll, but it turned out. I think that he saw that, and, and I thought it was a good reroll. Like, on on my first instinct was to say it wasn't a good reroll, but now I think maybe it was. Um, the objective. <laughs> exactly, I'm just being objective. Be Muppet, objective. <laughs> Muppet isn't Muppet Pac-Man, no, Demento, no, this is a different... This is a different Muppet. He's just Muppet. I don't think Coke Guy realises... Oh, Muppet, I don't think Muppet realises it. He hasn't got a turn. No, neither of them did. They both just played the last turn for no reason, but there you go. I like I like punching things. Yeah. My, uh, my GFI double uphill Blitz on uh, double uphill, double pow uphill on uh, Souls Rauga that Kazlin was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. none of you saw it, you all missed it. Like, <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I was having the time of my life. Yeah, one of, one of the comments was like, turn 16 was the funniest thing, and then, and that's what he yeah. was referring to, but uh, yeah, we had we talked. Yeah, about. yeah, I literally, like, because he tried his one turn, failed, because he powered me mummy, and then I just got up, uphill, <laughs> blitzed his roger and killed it. <laughs> that was a good game, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Very good for an alt mirror. Like, it actually was, yeah. It was. It wasn't too bad. It was, a, it, was, it was a lot better than I thought it would be for an Orc Mirror. They're not normally. I think Muppet played well. Yeah, I think Muppet played well. I think Coat Guy played well as well. Like, I don't. Yeah. Um, there's some incidents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, one of, uh, was it? So it's uh, Coat Guy versus BB Nut, right? So it's Orcs versus Black Orcs, I believe, in the next round for him. Mm. Right. Um, oh, I'm sad. Right. Sorry. One second. What are you sad about? Uh, End the video. Thank you. No, Good no, night. I'm not, in, not ending right. the video. Demi, I'm not ending the video because what I'm going to do is <gasps> I should have saved this earlier. Um, Morg gave me a little a little uh, JPEG. So what I can do is I can show you the updated draw. Um, 
you bear with me. Bosh. So there we go. So with that win, um, congratulations, Court Guy, commiserations, Muppet. You can see that he's gone through. So the next the round two, we've got Madara versus the Artemis Black. We've got Cyber Fiber up against Dimmy G. Turbo Stewie versus I don't play this game. Court Guy gets to play BB Nut. Domini up against Pirate Bear. Will King is playing. So yeah, Matt Zuckerdor versus Doom Fox. Will King is like agreeing to like play like the back end of the week kind of thing so that they can get their game in. Uh, I think there was some kind of you know Euro Bowl uh, conflict there, so that they'll be playing theirs a little bit later. And then Talk 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 is taking on Joe Thomas and P. What is it? Pagan Agent is taking on Chaos Cop in the last one. So there you go. That is the draw. Any any thoughts, Dimmy, about how you're definitely going to win? I just can't believe uh, you're not in it, Jim. What? What? When did that happen? I lost to knobs, Dimmy. Um, oh my god! Yeah. Wow. I mean, they are OP, Jim. You didn't stand a chance. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. Uh, talk, talk, talk's a good player, and uh, he did everything right. He didn't he didn't make any big mistakes or anything. Didn't even didn't even need a pack, Jim. He just took a standard knob team. Yep, yep. He didn't. He uh, yeah. It was it was actually you know it was it was a tough game. Um, uh, funny enough, I actually got really good dice in kind of overtime, didn't I? If I'd got those, if I'd got those dice in like either the first half or the second half, it would have been a win. But unfortunately, it it just took too long till I started banging him out, and then by that time, I'd lost the toss, and uh, and it was it was bad times. Um, <laughs> yes, I can also hear Dimmy's smug face over the audio as well. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've got the biggest grin on my face. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Right. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And fuck you, Dimmy. <laughs>